Sykes in It's a Fair Cop, a story of the relentless war against crime being fought even at this very moment by one of the humblest members of our police forces. Oh, I think this should do very nicely, you know. Yes, it's right opposite, isn't it? Mon repos. Room and board vacancies. I don't like the look of it. Oh, Sykes, it's ideal. It's, it's, it's right opposite, love. From that window, we can keep the bank under surveillance day and night. You want to be careful of the landlady here. I know her. Mrs. Pike, her name is. Oh, there's nails. Oh, don't you worry about that. <laughs> I'll do it with the old posh chat, you know, turn on the charm, flash me teeth a bit. <laughs> oh, good morning, madam. Not I'll... today. <laughs> Didn't give me time to flash me teeth. Why don't you just push him through the letterbox? That'll be quite enough of that. Must have mistook me for somebody else, I think. I'll just explain to you what we're here for. Oh, Mrs. Page. I don't want no vacuum cleaners, bootlaces, polish brushes, or lucky whatever, and I can tell the difference between margarine and batter now off it, or I'll get spotty on you. <laughs> Let's go, Charles. We don't want the dog shit on this. Spotty's not the dog, it's her husband. <laughs> Well, look, Sykes, we've got to get in here. It's the best vantage point in the street. I'll just tell her that we're members of the constabulary. In the... Oh, Mrs. Pike, <laughs> I'm afraid there's been some misunderstanding, you see. Uh, we are the police, you see. Police? Uh, I hate them. Loathe them. You're not the police, are you? Uh, us? Oh, no, no. Uh, no, uh, we hate them. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, we're um, theatrical, aren't we? Uh, yes, Sarge. Sarge? Oh, Sarge, Sarge, he's... Um... Uh, Sarge, he's Russian, you see. <laughs> uh, Sarge O'Reilly. Don't sound very Russian to me. Well, oh, well, that wouldn't, you see. That's, uh, that's my stage name, like, you know. I mean, if I was to tell you my real name, you wouldn't remember it. <laughs> Can't remember it myself. Well, what do you want, then? Uh, well, we want a room, you see, madam. Uh, we're at the Hippodrome next week, and... Oh, uh... oh, well, you should have said. Come in. Thank Come you, on. my good woman. Theatricals, I. Right, different. If you was anything else, I'd ask for a week's rent in advance. Oh, of course, yes. Seeing your theatricals, I want two weeks in advance. <laughs> oh, yes, certainly, of course, yes. Right. Come this way, then. I'll show you the room. Thank you. There we are, then. It's a nice little room. Oh, yes, very nice, yes. I want you to treat it like it was your own home. No cooking in the room, no pets, no musical instruments, no visitors after six in the evening. Oh, what a pity. I'll have to get rid of it now. What? My pet seal that plays the bagpipes. What? <laughs> Just a little jocularity. Oh. <laughs> well, I like a joke as much as anybody. <laughs> <laughs> One more and you're out. <laughs> I'll leave you to settle in. If there's anything you want, get it yourself. I warned you about her. Well, never mind, let never mind. We're in now. That's all that matters. We can settle down here and keep observation to our heart's content. We could do, but for one thing. What? This room's at the back of the house. Looks straight across the railway. <laughs> It's a marvellous view from this window, Sarge. Can see both sides of the bank. Oh, good. Never seen so much fuss about changing a room in my life. It smells a bit musky, oh, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I think this bed is damp, too. Why? There's mustard and crust growing on the pillow. <laughs> yeah, she's got some funny old pictures here. What's that one? Looks like her wedding group. It isn't, though. It says Highland Cattle. <laughs> It might be a wedding. You know? <laughs> I hope that tip-off you got was the real thing, Pringle. Don't fancy spending the night in this hole for nothing. I tell you, those lads down in the billiard all know what's going on in the underworld. 
If they say the bank is going to be broken into, it's going to be broken into. Well, all we can do is watch and wait then. There's just one thing, Pringle. Yes. What were you doing in the billiard hall at lunchtime, eh? I didn't let you out of your cell for such frivolities, you know. I'll send you downtown to put on a bet for me. Well, there's gratitude for you. That's the last straw that gathered no moss. Well... Yeah, I'm going back to my cell where I can be appreciated. It'll only be you there. Oh, well, I appreciate me. Yeah, I'm all. Pringle, come back. Come on, Black. You can't go to that station on your own. It looks bad when people come in and find you in charge. Oh, yes, there's been one or two complaints about it. Oh, all right, then. Well, now then, we better organize the watch. We must keep that place under surveillance every second of the time. All right, Sykes, you first. I thought it would be. Yeah, and here's the binoculars. Oh. Hey, a nice little pair, this. Whose are they? Mine. Bargain they were, too. Got them for sixpence in the theatre in London. <laughs> <laughs> Just put a tanner in the slot, you know, and there they were. Mmm, <laughs> not the... Oh, hey! Sergeant, wait for me. I'm right here. Look through the other end, ma'am. Oh, I thought you'd gonna left me. <laughs> oh, Give them here. I'll take first watch, then. Right. Now, then. Good grief. We're in luck. What? We're only here five minutes, and, and, and they're at it already. Somebody going into the bank now. Suspicious-looking character. Let's have a look. That's the manager. It's opening time. <laughs> Is it? Oh, shall I nip down and get a couple of bottles of beer? Bank opening time. Other things open besides pubs. Oh, I will. Oh, well, I might as well get me head down for a bit, eh? Yes. Uh, 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 All right. Uh, you might as well get a bit of kip as well, I suppose, sir. I don't think I could, Sarge. My brain's too active. Too active, eh? That's typical of you, isn't it? Typical. In all the time I've known you, your brain's been like a hedgehog in winter. Now when I want you to kip, it's too active. I can't help it. You know, I feel sort of... with it. Lively. My old brain's going... I feel like Euripides. Eureka, he cried. I feel like he must have felt when he sat in his bath. Wet. <laughs> he might have been wet, but he discovered that the square on the potting use was equal to it. Not to mention the size of the triangle at the same distance. Oh, all right. <laughs> Don't go on, for goodness sake. Look, you take first watch, but stay awake. Oh, I will, Sarge. Ticka, 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 ticka. My brain. Yes, well, never mind the ticka, ticka, my brain. Get over to that window. Come on, Pringle, move over. I want to sleep on this side. Oh, what for? Because Cress gives me hay fever. <laughs> right. Give me a shot in a couple of hours, Sykes, will you? And stay with it. Right. It's a good view from here. Why, you can see well with these binoculars. You'd think the brick factory was in the next street. It is in the next street. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, love him. Oh, a lovely little sparrow. <laughs> Got a worm for his young. Oh, isn't he lovely? Here, yeah, boy. <laughs> little sparrow. <laughs> look, Percy Edwards, shut up, will you? <laughs> trying to kick. All right, I'm sorry. Uh huh. Fascinating things, these binoculars. Hello. So that's where she lives. <laughs> Getting up late this morning. <laughs> well, I never... <laughs> well, fancy that. And her figure looked so real. <laughs> oh, she's drawn the curtains. <laughs> oh, well, there's nothing else about. Might as well look at the bank. Oh, dear. It's going to be a long, dull day. Six thousand and twenty-one. Six thousand and twenty-two. Six thousand and twenty-three. What? Six thousand and twenty-four. Six thousand and twenty-five. Sykes, what on earth are you doing, lad? Well, you see this wallpaper, mm -hmm. white with red stripes? Well, I've been counting the red stripes. 
Oh, what are you on about it? Look, lad, it's, it's red with white stripes. It's not. It is. Have another look. Hmm. Well, I suppose if you half close your eyes and look at it sideways, it could be. Well, of course it is. Well, anyway, what's the difference? It'll still be the same number of stripes, won't it? Oh, I suppose it will, really. How many were there? Two thousand, uh, uh, five, uh, six, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, never mind, never mind. Now, then, anything happened outside? Oh, eh? yes. Oh, it's been a full morning. Yeah. A little kid came and wrote on the wall. His mother hit him. <laughs> Dog ran across the road. The kid threw a stone at it. His mother hit him again. Then, a bit of paper blew down the road. Then the pressure eased for a bit and there was a lull. <laughs> then after a bit, the mother hit the kid again. Well, what for? Nothing, as far as I could see. Suppose she just got bored with nothing happening. <laughs> then you woke up. Well, what about the bank? The what? The bank. The bank. The bank. Oh, the bank. Oh, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, well, oh, I don't know. Oh. Look at old Pringle there. Sleeping like a baby. A baby what? <laughs> no, no, he is, Sarge. Look, his mouth's a little bit open, and when he breathes out, his bottom lip wobbles. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> look, the, oh, lovely, isn't it? In a revolting sort of way. Oh, look, look, now he's dribbling a bit. Mm. Are those his own teeth? Well, almost. Two more installments and they will be. <laughs> Do you know, he reminds me of somebody lying there. Oh. You, you know. That fellow that used to be in pictures. Which fella? You know him. Oh, he was always turning up. Always played butlers. Oh. I know what you mean. Yes, he was in that thing, um... Uh, oh, in that one with that, um, That fellow that dances, you know. Um... Aye, yeah, that's him. Just a minute. That's him. I've got him. Wait a minute. Um, he was the butler in that, wasn't he? Just a minute. Fred Astaire. No, that's the dancing fella. That's the dancing fella. But this was the bloke who was the butler. Oh, he has a very long, thin face. Well, the one I'm thinking of over the round, fat face. Oh, yes, but where were you sitting? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wasn't that the one that girl was in? What girl? Oh, you know, that girl that was always playing sort of dancing girls, you know. They... There was a girl in this one. She wanted this fellow I'm on about to be her butler instead of this dancing fellow's butler. Mm. Oh, I'll get it in a minute. Had a little hairline moustache. Don't remember any actress with a hairline moustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The fellow who I think Pringle looks like had one. Oh. Got it? You... I've got it. I've what? got it. No. I'm a, a viewer... Eric Blower. Don't you think Pringle looks like Eric Blower? No. Well, it was a good film. Oh, ah, yes, I know. I mean, they don't make pictures hey, like... I'm sorry, sir. Just a sec. There's something happening down there in the street. Hey, what is it? She's just hit the kid again. Oh, sight. <laughs> What time is it now, Sarge? Uh, it's uh, quarter past three. They've just closed up over there. Still no sign of action, though. I'm a bit peckish. I only had a water biscuit and some cold rhubarb for my breakfast. <laughs> and that was last night. <laughs> last night? Well, well, why do you have your breakfast at night, then? Saves time when I get up in the morning. <laughs> oh, sights. Oh, Pringle's still lost to the world there, isn't he? <laughs> uh, he's having a real good gip and all. Oh, he's thoroughly enjoying it, isn't he? Oh, uh, <laughs> he's reveling in it, isn't he? <laughs> Let's wake him up. Ah. Come on, yes, come, come on, come on. 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 Come on, Pringle, you've kept long enough. We want you to nip down and get us some scope. All right, I'll... Now go down to the coronation cap. Get a pot of tea and three chip butties. <laughs> right out. And while you're out, ring Hatchin, tell her what we're on and say I might be late. Right out. Shan't be long. Do you really think there will be a raid on the bank, Sarge? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, Sarge. Sprinkle's tips are usually pretty reliable. Well, what, <clears throat> what do we do when we see them? Ah, well, now, that's a good question, lad. Yes, I'm glad you asked that. Shows you thinking, thinking. <laughs> Very good question, huh? 
Yeah, but what's the answer? Yes, well, I was hoping you might have some ideas about that. <coughs> Come in. Oh, good afternoon, Mrs. Pike. <laughs> Something you wanted? Uh... Yes. This is my husband, Spotty. Oh, oh, he's spot, uh, Spotty. Spotty's uh, very interested in drama and theatricals, aren't you? Yes, he is. And we was wondering if you had any free seats for your show. Our show? Sure. Show? Oh, the, oh, our show! Yeah, oh. well, I know you artists always get free seats and that. Oh, yes, oh. well, now, I, I'm afraid that uh, that would be impossible. Oh. oh, that's the thought you are, eh? Mean swine. I can see your mean, close set eyes, criminal earlobes. You can see that, can't you, Spotty? Yes, you can. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's not bad. It's just that we are so popular that when we're on the free list, it's entirely suspended. Oh, that... very likely. If you had any decency, you'd buy a couple of tickets for me and Spotty. After all, we've done for you. Well, I mean, what have you done for us? Oh, oh, oh yes, very convenient. Have a short memory, isn't it? Oh, yes, that's very convenient. Well, we can easily do without the likes of you. We can let this room again, can't we, Spotty? Yes, we can. <laughs> come on, pack your bag. Uh, come on, come on, get well, out. No, no, just a moment now, Mrs. Pike, please. I mean, if that's how you feel, <laughs> we'll give you a turn. Well, I don't see why not. See, he has a turn. <laughs> yes, all right. <laughs> quiet, quiet. Yes, all right, then, Mrs. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, is that all right, Spotty? Yes, that's all right, he said. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, we're singers. We're, we're jugglers. Jugglers. Uh, singers. Uh, yes, um, sort of singing jugglers. Yeah, yeah, or alternately, juggling singers. Yes. yes. <laughs> to begin presenting Sarge, my brother, in something new in juggling. Yes. Hey. Well, you mind then, Dorothy? Sing and sing. Oh, I'm no fear. <laughs> Well, that's something new in juggling, isn't it? <laughs> Most of the others catch them. <laughs> and now, in conclusion, uh, the crooning fools in hits of the 20s. Uh, two and in. One, two. <laughs> oh, they've gone. Oh, uh, Tyke. All right, Tyke. They're gone. You can stop. Tyke. Oh. And you say you're not animal, mineral or vegetable, and you're not abstract? No. Well, you've got to be one of them. No, I haven't. Now, get on. We've got one more question. All right. Um, are you... Uh, no. Are you... Uh, no, I've asked that. Ah, ah. Are you Einstein's theory of relativity? No. <laughs> well, what are you, then? I'm fed up of playing this silly blinking game. <laughs> oh, that's cheating, that is. Oh, well, Top Finger, what's the time? I'm not telling you. You're a cheat. Oh. Anything happening out there, Sarge? No, don't quite. It's getting dark, though. Oh, I wish we had the telly. Oh, so do I. What's on tonight? Oh, it's very good tonight. On BBC, mm -hmm. there's a Western. Well, what's on the other, then? There's a cowboy picture. Oh. Then there's a film about Jesse James, and at the same time, BBC have got Wells Fargo. <laughs> it's a very interesting evening. I wonder if Jim Hard is as fast on the draw hey, as what... look. Eh? Over there. Look, there's somebody moving. Where? Over in the shadows by the bank. Must be, ooh, two or three of them. Where? I can't see them. Oh, open your eyes, Sykes. Look, man, there. Look, they're sticking together in a tight little group. See? Ah, now, they're all moving across the road together. Coming this way. Sergeant, that's our Hattie. <laughs> Hello, Hut. Here we are up here. Sykes. Just a big hat. The sergeant wants to say something. Go on. Tell every bank robber in the district we're up here. He said, would you tell every bank robber in the district? <laughs> oh, both up shouting all over the neighborhood, land. Oh, well done, Hat. What have you got, love? Jackets and chips. Oh, lovely. Bring them up, then. Right oh, you're in for a treat now, Sarge. Oh, really? Hattie cooks the finest faggots in the Northern Union. Like your mother used to make. Oh, pity. Why? 
My mother was a terrible cook. <laughs> you got come for me. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Talking to us now, are you? Uh, All matey and friends, are we? Well, I... Isn't what the know is when we won at 20 questions. Now we got faggots, it's all pals together, isn't it? Well, well, I... Uh... Eric! Ooh, Eric! What's up, Hutt? Why didn't you come up? Because the landlady won't let me in. Why not? No female visitors are after six o'clock. What about my faggots? Here, wait a minute, Fox. I've got an idea, lad. Look, tie these sheets together here. Hat, we're going to lower a rope. Right, you tie it. Listen, Hat, very carefully. You tie the basket on the end, all right? All right. Here we are, then. Lower away. All right, well, a bit more. Come on, a bit more, that's it. Right, fine. Oh, come on, Pringle, then the hand to pull it up. There we go, now. Right, all the way. You might have given me time to let go of the basket. <laughs> Hello, Hat. Why, I thought your faggots were a bit heavier than usual. Why, <laughs> they smell good. Here you are, Sarge. Thank you very much. Come for you, Pringle. Help yourself the chip. All right, all right. Thank you. Right, close the window, Pringle. There's a bit of a draft. Right. Oh, yes, I knew there was something. Let Hattie in, will you? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sorry, Hat. Never mind. Oh, have a faggot. Oh, they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> have a chip, then. Oh, well, here's a bit of bread. Rub it round my plate. No, thank you. Watching you three shovel away like incinerators is not to put anybody off their food. Well, I'd just like to say, Hattie, that was very, very much appreciated, Lass. Very enjoyable indeed. Do you smoke? Well, yes, I do. Give us a pipe then, will you, just to round it up? <laughs> oh, really? Of all the Oh, take no notice of him. You know, he's not himself, Hat. None of us are being cooped up in this room all day. Well, I haven't had such a wonderful day myself. Oh? Been a bit dull, has it? Oh, just the same as usual, you know, routine. Only breaking the monotony was when that man called. Mm -hmm. What man? That man from Teddy Grove School. Apart from him. The, 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 the man from where? Teddy Grove. The, 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 the pools? Yes. The pools, Hat? Yes. Hear that? Hear that? The man from the pool he goes. Oh, 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 well, it was very funny, your laugh, when you hear. Oh, yes, we do. Well, yes, it's the sort of thing you never expect to happen to people like us. Oh, I don't know. I've always had confidence. Well, anyway, let me tell you. I invited him in and gave yes. him a cup of tea. Yes. We had a lovely chat. Then I bought the chat of the tea. How much? 20,000. 20,000? <laughs> 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 wait, wait, till you hear the big bit. There's more? Yes. He got lost, you see. Hmm? And when he told me the address he was looking for... It was your cousin Albert in Fifth Street. Well, what about that? <laughs> cousin Albert? Yes. You mean Cousin Albert's 120? Yes. And we haven't? No, of course not. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, there, there, Frank. Come on, lad. Come on, come on, lad. Get it out of your system. <laughs> I wouldn't mind so much. Oh, we haven't, we haven't thought of Cousin Albert since we had a row ten years back. <laughs> but we will. <laughs> I thought you'd think like that, Eric. So I sent him a birthday card. Why? Is it his birthday? Oh, I don't know. But I sent it just to play safe. And just to make sure, I sent him a Christmas card, an Easter card, and one for St. Patrick's Day as well. Well, I suppose it's worth trying. Perhaps I should take him a bottle of stout down and congratulate him. Well, he can't tonight, lad, can you? You're still on duty. What, all night? Why? Well, we've had a tip. The bank over the road's going to be raided. And we've got to keep observation. <laughs> You should say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I suppose it is. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> what is? Well, it's funny you should say that about the bank. Because when I came round that way, I thought I saw somebody creeping about on the bomb site at the back. Well, what, I couldn't see who it was, of course, but there certainly was somebody there. Yeah, the bumps are there. I suppose they might try and get in from the back and all. Socks, go down and see who it is. This could be the break we've been waiting for. Oh, it's dark.
dark down here? No. There is somebody moving over there. If I creep round here, I can... By the no, I'm going back. Melody. Oh, it's too late. Hello. Hello there, minion of the law. Could you oblige me with change of something tape me? <laughs> what did you want? A shilling and two sixpences would do. <laughs> well, I think I might be able to... Ah, uh, just a minute. If I do that, I'm losing money. Serves you right for gambling. <laughs> Take my advice. I know all about racing. In my youth, I used to ride Mick the Miller. Mick the Miller was a greyhound. Oh? That's why my legs kept dragging on my <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, Takes you back, doesn't it? What does? This return ticket. <laughs> Let's see. Uh-huh. I doubt it, sir. This is a ticket for a horse bus. Well, I'm glad I never won it. I've got no place to keep it. Well, I... I, I have enough trouble with my two budgetary gals and the leopards. You, I've got, you, you, <laughs> you keep leopards? Well, I must, you see. They're too young to go out and work for themselves. <laughs> but they'll have to go. They keep eating my Charlie and The leopards? No, the buttery guard. <laughs> a vicious little beast. I'm sorry. Anyway, don't change the subject. What about this money you owe me? I don't owe you any money. Ah, trying to avoid the debt of honor, eh? You're a Welsher, sir. I am not. I was born and bred in these parts. <laughs> really? Really? Well, could you direct me to my house? I'm a stranger here. Well, where do you live? How should I know? I've just told you I'm a stranger here. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't help you. Well, if you give me my money, I'd get a taxi. But what's the good of a taxi if you don't know where you live? I should just say, home. <laughs> yeah, but the taxi driver wouldn't know where home is. You mean to say it's lost as well? <laughs> Perhaps we should form a club, the League of Lost Taxi Drivers. But you're not a taxi driver. Aren't I? In that case, get out. I'm not driving any further. I'm going home. Goodbye. Awake! Oh, morning in the bowl of night. As flung the stone that puts the stars to flight. <laughs> oh, Pringle, don't come here first thing in the morning with your dirty limericks. <laughs> come on, wake up. Uh, anything happened? No, I've been watching all the time. Not the sign of anybody. Nothing, nothing. Pringle, just... Pringle, you've dozed off. Why? Just look at it, it's gone. The whole bank's gone. There's not a brick left standing. You're looking out the wrong window. <laughs> what a fright. Well, a right time this has been, isn't it? A right waste of it. You and your tips, Pringle. Well, I only said what I heard. Yes, well, what exactly did you hear, Pringle? Hey, eh? well, uh, this, uh, oh, this fella sort of said... Uh, yeah, not sort of, not sort of, lad. Definitely. Now, tell us exactly, word for word, what this fella in the billiard hall said. Well, uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, he, uh, he said, uh, Banks is favourite. I'm going to clean up a lot of money tonight. You great steaming oaf. Why? He meant Charlie Banks. He was favourite in the snooker final last night. Oh, well, I didn't <laughs> 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 been listening to Eric Sykes, Hattie Jakes, Derek Guyler, Dick Emery, and Leonard Williams. The recorded program was produced in the north of England by Herbert Smith.